We're going to talk about centimeters and meters in this lesson, 8.5. Centimeters and meters are units of measure of the metric system. Inches, feet, and yards are units of measure of the U.S. standard or customary system. That's what we've been learning about before. There are about 195 different countries in the world, and they all use the metric system except three. Liberia, Myanmar, and the United States of America. Out of 195, only three don't use the metric system. And we're one of them. And the metric system is based on groups of 10. 10 centimeters equals one decimeter. 10 decimeters equals one meter. So I'm going to show you the difference between centimeters and an inch and meters and a yard. So we've learned that that's an inch. Well, that's a centimeter. Isn't that a lot tinier? There's about two and a half of these centimeters to each inch. See that? So a centimeter is smaller than an inch, isn't it? This is a decimeter. It's equal to 10 of these centimeters. And it's smaller than a foot, isn't it? A foot looks a lot bigger than a decimeter. Wait till you see this. This line right here is a meter. Let me stand back for you so you can see how big it is. Look at that. That is one meter. And it's equal to 10 of these decimeters or 100 of these centimeters. And look at the difference between a meter and a yard. We know a yard is three feet. Look at this meter. It's longer on this side and on that side. See, it's a lot bigger than a yard, isn't it? Now, a ruler has inches on one side and centimeters on the other side. This is what a close-up view would look like of a ruler. We've got one centimeter, two centimeter, three centimeter, and these little tiny lines are smaller than a centimeter. They're millimeters. And it's upside down for the U.S. standard because that's on this side. See? See how that is? So if we were to look at our ruler here, let me get this. You can see that the U.S. standard part looks upside down, doesn't it? See how it's upside down? Because it's on the other side. If we turn it over, there's our U.S. standard. We turn it over this way, and it's our metric. And you can see that that's millimeters for the little tiny, tiny lines. And then the one, two, three, four, these numbers are centimeters. See that? So the actual size is this size. That's one centimeter, two centimeter, three centimeter. And you can see... It lines up here. See that? One, two, three. Those are centimeters. And if I flip my ruler over to inches, see? An inch is about two and a half centimeters. See that? About two and a half of these, about right in the middle between two and three would be one inch. See that? So we're going to be talking about the metric system in this video. And abbreviations, which are shorter ways to write things, the abbreviation for centimeter is CM, and for meter, it's just an M, okay? I'm going to estimate the length and then measure for real, okay? So this pink line, how many centimeters do you estimate that that pink line is? Now, knowing that that's the actual size of centimeters, okay? It's about like that. I'm going to estimate this pink line. So if that picture was three centimeters, I'm guessing that this is probably about six centimeters. Okay, so now let's measure it for real. I'm going to get my ruler and I'm going to hold it up here. And look at that. It's right on the six. See the pink line ends right on the six there? So it was six. Good guess. It helps that I'm the one that drew it, too, though, right? <laughs> okay, now let's estimate this green line. Well, if that one's six, this one might be, I don't know, what, maybe eight? You think it might be eight? So let's estimate eight centimeters. And now 
let's get our ruler and measure it for real. Let's see where the green line ends. Ooh, it's nine. See how the green line ends at the nine there? So its real measure is nine centimeters. What about this blue one? If that's nine, what do you think this one is? So that would be about 10, you think maybe 15? Can we estimate about 15 if that's a nine? So let's estimate 15 centimeters. And then let's measure it for real. We'll get our ruler and see where the blue line ends. Oh, the blue line ends at 17. I was off a little bit, but I was kind of close, right? So the actual measure is important, isn't it? We can guess and estimate how long something is, but the actual measure is really important. All right, let's figure out about how long or tall would these objects be. So if we had a coffee mug, do you think the coffee mug would be about nine centimeters tall or about nine meters tall? So remember, that's a centimeter and that is a meter. So would a coffee mug be about nine centimeters or about nine meters? Well, if that coffee mug was nine meters, it would be able to have enough coffee for a whole town, wouldn't it? So let's say nine centimeters. If that is about a centimeter, then about nine of them would be about a coffee mug, right? That would be about right. How about a piece of paper? Do you think a piece of paper is about 27 centimeters tall? Or do you think it's about 27 meters tall? Well, if you said 27 centimeters, you're right. A piece of paper is about 27 centimeters. If you took a piece of paper and you measured it going this way, it would be about 27 centimeters, okay? Like copy paper or, you know, school paper. It's about 27 centimeters. Do you think a tomato plant would be about one centimeter or one meter? Have you ever grown tomatoes? Have you ever seen a tomato plant? Well, one centimeter would be about that big, wouldn't it? That would be an awfully tiny plant. So no, it's not centimeters. If you said meter, you're right. Tomato plant would be about a meter tall, okay? Let's try some critical thinking. Bob needed to dig a hole one meter deep. He dug nine decimeters. Did he dig deep enough? So we've got to think here. He needs to dig it one meter deep, and he dug nine decimeters. We think, okay, one meter is equal to 10 decimeters. It says he dug nine decimeters. So no, he didn't dig enough, did he? He needs to dig one more decimeter in order for it to be 10, right? Now, how many more centimeters does he need to dig to have a one meter hole? All right, so let's think. What would it be in centimeters? Well, he needed to dig one decimeter deeper, right? We knew he needed to dig one decimeter deeper. We know one decimeter is equal to 10 centimeters. So that means he needs to dig 10 centimeters more and he'll have his one meter deep hole. Does that make sense? So we can convert the increments to each other. So let me show you this. Remember I said that it uh, is based off of groups of 10? Well, each group of 10 equals a new size. If we go smaller than a centimeter, we're in millimeters, and 10 tiny little millimeters equals one centimeter. When we get to 10 centimeters, well, that's one decimeter. When we get to 10 decimeters, now it turns into a meter. When we have 10 meters, it turns into a decameter, and 10 decameters equals a hectometer, and 10 hectometers equals one kilometer. See how it keeps changing to a new size for every 10? See? 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. That's why the metric system's easier. It's not like our measuring system of 12s and stuff like that. It's all based on 10, okay? We're going to start talking about weight in the next video, and I hope this was helpful, and I hope I'll see you there.
Bye.